Hello everyone, it's Takeshi from jprail.com. When the Japanese National Railways was privatized, JR Kyushu was expected to be so difficult to manage that it received financial support from the government along with JR Hokkaido and JR Shikoku. However, while JR Hokkaido and JR Shikoku are still in a difficult financial situation, JR Kyushu was listed and was completely privatized. The reason why JR Kyushu was listed is because they succeed in the expanding their business outside the railway business. Railways are still the main business for JR Kyushu, but it may become one of the many businesses in the future. From this time, I will talk about JR Kyushu in two parts. This time, as the first part, I will explain the current situation of JR Kyushu, financial status of JR Kyushu Group. Let's take a look at the financial result of JR Kyushu in March 2019. The transportation sector has the highest ratio of both operating the revenue and operating the profit. However, the profit margin of real estate is really high, and the operating the profit is comparable to transportation. In the real estate industry, the land owned by JR Kyushu near the station is used to build condominiums for sale or for rent making a high profit. Major private railways such as the Hankyu Railway and the Tokyo Corporation have expanded the number of the railway users by developing the residential area on the outskirts of their own lines and having them commute from there. JR Kyushu uses the same business model, however, in JR Kyushu, the real estate industry is showing a growth, growth rate that exceeds the main business of the transportation industry. And as you can see, the transportation sector accounts for about 40% of the JR Kyushu's profit, which is already less than half. In the near future, as I mentioned in the beginning, the transportation sector may become just one of the businesses of the JR Kyushu. So, what is the financial position? Of the transportation sector now. Current status of the railway sector. During the JNR era, routes with a transportation density of 4,000 or less were closed. Transport density is the average number of the people passing the through one kilometer per day. The situation is quite different from that of Japanese National Railways era, and it is now possible that routes with a transportation density of 2,000 or less will be targeted. According to the last year's result, these sections will be loot with a transportation density of 2,000 people or less. Even among the routes not listed here, there are many routes with a poor balance, and most of them are in the red, except for the routes near Fukuoka, the Kyushu Shinkansen, and the trunk line connecting the Fukuoka with Nagasaki, Kumamoto, and Oita. However, even Fukuoka, the largest city in Kyushu, is not as populous as Tokyo or Osaka and is not making a lot of the profit. Of the 173.7 billion Japanese M in transportation revenue, railway revenue is 147.4 billion Japanese M, of which 52.3 billion Japanese N comes from the Kyushu Shinkansen. The Kyushu Shinkansen accounts for about 10% of the total length of the JR Kyushu railway lines, but its revenue accounts for 35%. The routes listed here include many sections on which limited express trains run, such as the Hisatsu Line, Misumi Line, and the Nichinan Line. Such routes are also in the red. The Nippo Line, which has many limited express trains, will not be closed. However, although there is a long distance demand for the limited express trains, short distance demand is quite low. There is a Sotaro station on the Nippo Line at the border of Miyazaki and Oita prefectures. Only three trains stop at this station each day, especially for trains to the south. The train bound for Nobeoka at 6.45 in the morning is the first and the last train. Since then, there are no trains to the south. Even in the opposite direction, 
There are only two trains bound for Saiki, 6:39 in the morning and 8:07 in the evening. This indicates that there are few users. There are many stations in Kyushu with similar situations. Railway line closures due to disasters. Kyushu is most affected by abnormal weather caused by the global warming in recent years. Let's take a look at the disasters that have occurred in the last few years. In April 2016, the Hohi Main Line was damaged by the Kumamoto earthquake. It took four years to recover and it finally opened in August this year, 2020. In July 2017, the Kyudai Main Line and the Hita Hikosan Line were damaged by the heavy rain that hit northern Kyushu. The Kyudai Main Line was damaged by the loss of the bridge and the landslides and it took a year to recover. The Hita Hikosan Line is not restored and is expected to be closed. Then, in July of this year, 2020, The Hisatsu Line and the Kyudai Main Line were damaged by heavy rain. The Kyudai Main Line was damaged in 2017 and another bridge was washed away this time. The Hisatsu Line has been so damaged that there is no prospect of recovery at this time. The Kyudai Main Line will be opened in the spring the next year. Over the past few years, the restoration has repeatedly caused damage to other areas. Which has also had a major impact on the income and expenditure of the transportation business. The transportation density of the Hita Hikosan line, which was damaged by heavy rain in July 2017, has been decreasing year by year. Under such circumstances, there were landslides and the bridges washed away in the section from Soeda Station to Yoake Station on the Hita Hikosan line. And the situation was similar to that of the building a new railway. JR Kyushu could not restore this line without the support from the national government and the local government along the line. By law, the national government could not fully support, and the local government along the line could not afford to support it because of the tight financial status, so they agreed to the close the route. This section of the Hita Hikosan line will soon be officially replaced by bus. Once the deficit line is damaged, JR Kyushu hesitates to spend a large amount of the money on the restoration work, and the local governments cannot bear the cost, and the route will be closed as it is. This is related to the fact that JR Kyushu was listed on the stock exchange in 2016 and was completely privatized, so JR Kyushu could not obtain the approval. Of the shareholders for the large amount of the funds invested in the deficit route. The Hisatsu Line is a scenic line that runs along the Kuma River, but the Kuma River overflowed and flooded the track due to the heavy rain in July this year. The Hisatsu Line was severely damaged in hundreds of places and many bridges were washed away. The Hisatsu Line was a line on which many tourist trains run, but it was in the red. Therefore, it is not yet clear whether this line will be restored. Also, if this area is hit by heavy rain of the same scale, the Kuma River will flood again. JR Kyushu will decide whether to restore the Hisatsu line after ascertaining how the national government and the Kumamoto Prefecture will control the Kuma River. JR Kyushu has become a listed and excellent company, but the railway sector has a lot of the problems. However, JR Kyushu is making a good use of the railways while making effective use of these deficit routes. The Hisatsu Line, which suffered great damage, is also in the red. However, if JR Kyushu is satisfied with the hydraulic engineering project by the national government and the Kumamoto Prefecture, the re restoration work of the Hisatsu Line will begin. There is a management strategy using the JR Kyushu Railway centered on the Kyushu Shinkansen. I will explain that in the next video. That's all for this video. If you found this video useful or interesting, please click like button and subscribe to my channel. Please watch other videos too. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you guys next time. Arigatou gozaimashita. Sayonara.